During the pilgrimage to Mecca, Muslims undertake a series of rituals. The seven main rituals that happen on Hajj are number one, Ihram. Muslims should observe Hajj in a state of purity called Ihram. This means no arguing or fighting, abstinence from sexual activity, and refraining from trimming hair and nails. In addition to this, Muslims should wear appropriate Ihram clothes. For men, if run clothes take the form of two white sheets wrapped around the body. The sheets should be seamless and sandals are to be worn on the feet. Doing so eliminates any trace of wealth or class status and renders everyone equal. For women, there are no set ihram clothes rules aside from leaving the face and hands uncovered. But many women choose to wear white. Number 2. Tawaf the Kaaba is the most sacred site for Muslims around the world and is located in the Masjid al-Ahram. It was built by Prophet Abraham and his son Ismail as a place of worship. When performing Salah or daily prayers, Muslims face towards the direction of the Kaaba. During Hajj, Muslims move counterclockwise around the Kaaba seven times, which is known as Tawaf. Number 3. as safa wal Marwa. It is said that Prophet Abraham was ordered by Allah to leave his wife Hagar and his newborn son Ismael in the desert. Prophet Abraham left them with limited resources and when these expired, Hagar ran several times between Safa and Marwa. These are two hills in Mecca in an attempt to find water. Angel Jibril appeared and directed Hagar to a water spring in the ground. Hagar built a well around the spring which is now known as the Well of Zamzam. To honor Hagar's efforts, Muslims run seven times between as safa and Marwa Hills, both located in the Masjid al-Haram. Number 4. Mount Arafah Prophet Muhammad received his first revelation from Allah and performed his final sermon at Mount Arafah on the edge of Mecca. It is now a highly sacred site, and during Hajj, Muslims go to Mount Arafah and observe a vigil. Number 5. Stoning of the Devil After leaving Mount Arafah, Muslims partake in the ritual of stoning the devil. Prophet Abraham is said to have been approached by the devil on three separate occasions as he sought to dissuade Abraham from denying Allah. In response, Prophet Abraham threw stones at him. To mark this, Muslims throw stones at three walls in Mina as part of the Hajj. Number 6. Eid al-Adha on the 10th day of Dhul Hijjah, Eid al Adha begins and is marked by the Eid prayer. Eid al Adha is a designated period of three days of celebration as marked out by the Prophet Muhammad. Number 7, Qurbani. The final part of the Hajj pilgrimage is Qurbani, which commences following the Eid Adha prayer. Qurbani is the sacrifice of an animal, which is observed by Muslims to honor the sacrifice Prophet Abraham was willing to make by giving his son Ismail, as per Allah's command. At the last moment, Allah saved Ismail and put a ram or a goat in his place. For this reason, all Muslims should make a Qurbani sacrifice or a Qurbani donation.